Welcome back, y'all. Just the facts. My name's Jimmy, and I'm with my co-host. My name's Eric. And today we got a video of NFL players who we think have the most to prove in this upcoming 2020 season. Uh, hopefully we have it, you know what I'm saying? But I think we will have it. Without further ado, we can get started. You want to go first or you want me to go? I, I can go first. All right, all right. Let's see what you got. All right, so for number one, I got Lamar Jackson. Mmm, that's an interesting one. That's a good one, actually. Okay. Yeah, so as we all know, Lamar Jackson, uh, Pro Bowl, one MVP. Um, I thought he was one of the first ones I thought of because, as we, as we all know, they lost in the divisional, divisional mm-hmm. round to the Tennessee Titans that walked over, walked over them, really, for the most part. But Lamar, he struggled. He had two picks. And then he also fumbled the ball. I, I don't really blame everything on Lamar. Uh, so I think Lamar, Lamar's not really a person that I believe cares in individual awards. He really just cares about the, the chips. He wants to finish it all. He wants to be number one on top. So next year he's going to be looking to, you know, get that, get that ring. He's going to be looking to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, and the thing about Lamar is, like, two great regular seasons in a row, and, like, he's disappointed in the playoffs both times. He has no playoff wins so far. He kind of gets a pass versus the Chargers because he was a rookie, but I don't know. Still, like, he, he actually does have something to prove. And it's weird because how great he's been so far early on in his career. But, yeah, he definitely has stuff to prove. For my my first player that I have uh, for something to prove for this upcoming season is Carson Wentz. And I see a lot of hate going towards Carson Wentz. And I don't know. Well, I do know why. It's because he's always in, he always gets injured at the wrong time. He's not always injured. He just gets injured at the wrong possible time. And he can never play in the playoffs, okay? In 2017, <laughs> he basically had the MVP award locked up in 2017 right then. He tore the ACL versus the Rams, okay? And, and then 2018, same thing. Nick Foles had to come and save the day again. All right, 2017, obviously, they won the Super Bowl and everything with, with Nick Foles. And 2018, same thing. 2019, it finally looks like he's about to play in his first playoff game, prove everyone wrong, and he gets hurt in the first quarter, second drive, I think. And Josh McCown has come in, and we're like, and we're like oh, Carson Wentz again, man. <laughs> and the thing with him is this past season, he didn't – he took the, the the Eagles to the playoffs, and he didn't have good guys around him. Let's just be honest. Like, on the offensive side, besides besides Ertz, besides Dallas Goddard, you know what I'm saying? Uh, their running back, uh, Bo- Miles Sanders had a couple good games. Boston had a couple good games. But, like, guys like Nelson Aguilar, Je- uh, Jeffrey, um, Alshon Jeffrey dropping passes left and right. Like, And then he has to play with... Uh, uh, Greg Ward, who is a who is a who is a quarterback in college, like like he has to play with all these all these problems, and he still threw for over four thousand yards, twenty seven touchdowns, and only seven interceptions. Okay, and he suffered the third most drop passes in the league. So, I mean, that's even more yardage and maybe even more touchdowns if his receivers know how to catch the ball. You know what I mean? That's their job, but <laughs> um. There are only two quarterbacks that made the playoffs this past season without a thousand yard running back and a thousand yard receiver. Carson Wentz and Patrick Mahomes. That's incredible if you really think about it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know. It's just like I think Carson would have proved God if he wasn't injured. That's the only thing with Carson Wentz. It's the getting injured at the wrong possible time. And he can't really control it. So we can't really blame him too much, but it seems like all the pressure is going to him, and I think he's destined for a big year this year. Uh, getting Jalen Rager, getting Darius Slay on the defensive end, the defensive backfield for Eagles, which is decimated with injuries last year. Um, obviously, Jalen Hurts, Newton next, Taysom Hill, apparently, or something like that, right? <laughs> and, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just it's just going to be great to see what what <clears> – <throat> We have a store this year from from Carson Wentz, and I think he's destined for a big, big year. My second NFL player who needs to prove themselves this upcoming season, whenever we may get it, hopefully on time, I got Baker Mayfield. Okay, that's who I had. (laughs) That's the other guy I had. 
For real? <laughs> yeah. All right, go. All right. You, you, you good? You good? <laughs> oh yeah, for real. Baker. Man, hey, he's one of the. We'll he was, he's one of the. Ba- we we'll both talk about Baker. <laughs> All right. So for me, for uh, for me, it is um, last season. They went six and ten. Everybody thought, you know, Odo. They get Odo. They get Jarvis Landry. Kareem Hunt comes back second half of the season. We all thought maybe, you know, if they don't do too well, Kareem could come second half of the season, help them out to make that playoff push. It didn't happen. Um, everything just went bad. Uh, Baker stats last season, uh, completion percentage, 59.4, 59. 22 touchdowns, a whopping 21 INTs, 3,827 yards. And, of course, they went 6-10. and 10. Uh, This season, the as we all know, the Cleveland Browns, they, ha- they got Austin Hooper, and they're going to have Kareem Hunt for the whole entire season. Yeah. So, um, with that being said, he's he has more weapons. He needs to improve his ac- he needs to improve his accuracy a little bit. He has he has trouble, you know, reading he has trouble reading out defenders, reading zones, just you know, typical stuff, obviously. But um, yeah, it's just stuff he needs to work on. They fired Freddie Kitchens. That's a big plus for them. They got <laughs> uh, who do they get? They got uh, Stefanski. Can they compete with their division? Because as we all know, they have the Ravens. We we know who the Ravens are, and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh can be good next. Can be good they're next coming season. Back. They're, they're coming yeah, they're, back. Yeah, they can come back. Uh, for me, with Baker, the first thing is like the attitude, like with the media, like towards the media and all that, like how he didn't own up to his mistakes, and he's just like he's lashing out at the reporters and walking off the set and all that stuff. It's like, bro, you have the opportunity every single Sunday to go out and. Prove, prove it wrong. You you have no right to just walk off the podium like that, and you're not producing on the field like you're supposed to. You know what I mean? With a talented roster like the Browns were, okay. That's my thing. That's one of my things. Like the attitude, like it could it can get better, and I think that's one of the reasons why. Like, if things don't work out this year, like I don't want to say they're gonna move on from from Baker, but they're. I think they might come pretty close to at least because the attitude doesn't help at all. You know what I mean? And if he doesn't produce on the field, that just makes things a whole lot worse. Um, obviously, 6-10 and 10 last year, that loaded roster. They bring in Austin Hooper, Kareem Hunt, full year. Um, one guy you didn't mention was Jack Conklin from the Titans. He's going to help out their, uh, their, their offensive line. Their offensive line was not good last year. Um, and he's going to come out and help them a lot. One underrated thing about the Browns last year was Nick Chubb, like, he legit carried that team, ran for damn near 2,000 yards. So um, him and Kareem Hunt and then Conklin back, like the running game should be – the running game should help out Baker a lot so he doesn't have to force anything. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't have to force it to Jarvis. He doesn't have to force it to Odell all the time because they can resort to a pretty good running game. Okay. Enough of, enough of lashing out on Baker. He His team was fifth and like drop passes. So like – Guys should catch the ball for him at least, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> uh, um, to help him out a little bit. And I don't know, man. Like, there's no excuse this year. Like, the excuse last year was, okay, it's the first year with Baker, Odell, and Landry all together, and Freddie Kitchens is the new coach now. Like, there's no excuse. It's the fancy coming in as a quarterbacks coach. Did well with Kirk Cousins, as we all saw. Now – they they have a second full year with Baker, Jarvis, and Odell. So I mean, there's no excuse. Like it's make or break this year for the Browns. Yeah, y'all. That's gonna that's gonna wrap up the first uh part of this something to prove uh, edition NFL. Yeah, and if y'all have any uh ideas, just let us know um in the comments. All right, and we'll we'll get to it. So yeah, but with that being said, my name is Jimmy. I'm Eric. This just the facts, and we are out. Peace. Peace.